Fried taters. Yeah, that's what's cooking today. Actually, it's going to be fried taters and onions with a little green bell pepper and some garlic. So what do you say? Let's get to it, huh? Well, all right, we got us some good old red potatoes. We got them sliced up nice and thin. And matter of fact, we've got them all cut about the same thickness. They're all gonna be about a quarter inch thick. And that's what you wanna do when you're frying taters because you wanna keep them about the same thickness. That way they'll cook through and through about the same time. Now, I broke out my big old 12 inch uh, deep dish skillet today with three inch sides on it and everything. So we've got it uh, heating up, it's got some baking grease in it. And uh, so, other things that we're going to be working with today, we've got some salt and pepper. Uh, I've got my clarified butter there. If you've not ever used clarified butter, that's my secret ingredient. So we'll link that up in the card up above us here and uh, show you how to make clarified butter. We've got some good green bell pepper sliced up fairly thin, about a oh, quarter inch wide or so. And then we've got some white onion, or actually either yellow onion. And uh, I just cut these uh, in slices. I didn't dice them up or anything because I, I want them cut up in slices like that and then of course naturally we got some minced garlic and uh, well my wife don't know this but it's gonna have a little bit of jalapeno pepper in it now I de-seeded it so it won't be hot or anything so we've got a little jalapeno and a little garlic to go in this baby too so we'll get all this here separated out and get ready to start cooking what do you say All right, well, I just want to show you something real quick here. I've got probably about, I don't know, two to three tablespoons of bacon grease in there. And uh, everything's better with bacon over here at Mr. Cast Iron's place. You know, I cook a lot of bacon and I uh, love that stuff. So we'll uh, start off with some bacon grease here. And now my secret ingredient, as I said earlier, is clarified butter. Now this is, uh, uh, this is pretty interesting here. It's just like grease in a way when you clarify butter and you get all the uh, milk solids and everything out of your butter. So this is gonna be our little secret ingredient here for our uh, uh, fried taters. So we'll let that melt down a little bit and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll move that out of the way here and I'll get me some bell pepper in here and we'll get that started. Now you wanna be pretty high on your thermostat as far as your temperature goes. You wanna be probably, I'm gonna say medium high. You're not really fully high, but just medium high for your heat because you want this stuff to brown up real good. Uh, or otherwise, you know, your, your taters are gonna stick to the pan. And I mean, ultimately, uh, inevitably, I guess I should say, they're gonna stick to the pan anyway. I don't care how good you are, taters are gonna stick to the pan sometimes. And so we're gonna get our onions and, and bell pepper started in here. Let them go to frying down. And uh, then we're gonna add our taters to this. And uh, so we'll let these, uh, we'll let these simmer down here a little bit. And uh, we'll be right back to you here just shortly. Okay, well, we got these onions and bell pepper uh, sweating down here. And you know, one other thing I want to mention about that clarified butter, um, you know, that kind of gives you a caramelized effect too and flavor. Caramelized, I mean, uh, clarified butter really has a, a deep flavor. And uh, since I got these onions and bell pepper sweating down, I'm gonna go ahead and add about another tablespoon of butter, clarified butter, because I'm getting ready to add my potatoes to this. And uh, these onions and bell pepper, as they were sweating down, I even actually went ahead and put the jalapeno and the and the garlic in there also. Uh, so we'll let that butter melt. That should be good. You can see how them onions are starting to brown up a little bit. All right. Well, let's go ahead and add a few of these taters. And. Uh, I'm gonna set them off, move them onions back out of the way and put these taters over here in the corner. Let them start frying up. Well, it's gonna be so good, folks. There ain't nothing like fried taters. Fried taters and onions. 
That's what I'm preaching right there, brother. I used probably, I don't know, I probably used about 20. Uh, they're they're kind of small taters. They wasn't very big. And um, we just took and cut them in half and then sliced them in quarter inch slices. I used two yellow onions and uh, I used one great big old bell pepper and then one great big old large jalapeno, but I de-seeded it so it wouldn't be too hot. And uh, of course, a little bit of, of garlic. I got about a tablespoon of garlic in here. And I've used, uh, like I said, I had about three tablespoons of bacon grease to start out with. So it's gonna have that bacon flavor to it. Also, I used about uh, a little over two and a half tablespoons of clarified butter. And if you didn't have that, you could use just a regular stick of butter or use about a half a stick of butter, whatever you wanted. And that'll help give it some, uh, you know, some added oil, added flavor to it, butter flavor, and the caramelized effect, you know, on the, on the bell pepper and the onions too. So we're gonna go ahead and get these taters fried down. We're gonna start working on them, try to get a char on the bottom of them, and uh, we'll be back here in just a minute and show you what that looks like. All right, well, it's been about 15 minutes since I put the potatoes in there. A couple things I wanted to share with you here too. Uh, now, I didn't peel the uh, peelings off these potatoes for two reasons. Number one, if you wash them real good and clean them, the put, uh, potato peels have got a lot of nutrition to it, uh, a lot of nutrients in there. So I like to use the uh, potato peel on my potatoes. And for the second reason, it takes a long time to do it and I didn't feel like peeling all them taters. So that's the reason why I didn't do it. But number three, I want to share with you also, when you put your potatoes in the skillet, when they're hot, you don't need to turn those for all oh, eight or 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, depending on how many you got. And I've got a lot. That's the reason why I broke out this three inch uh, deep, deep well skillet. So we're going to go ahead and see what it looks like here on the bottom. Uh, see, they're really not even completely started browning real good yet. So we'll go ahead. I'm just going to leave them alone. And well, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and give them one quick stir and then we'll leave them alone for a little while. Let them onions up on here. Let some more of them potatoes down on the bottom. But I want to get a good crisp um, char on these potatoes and let these onions and bell pepper uh, blend in with it and everything. So anyway, we'll let these cook a little bit and we'll be back here shortly. All right, well, it's starting to smell really good around here. Let's take and stir this a little bit. See how they're starting to stick together. Now what that is, they're, they're browning down, the moisture's coming out of them, and that's what you want. I mean, that, that right there, that's done enough for me. Uh, yes, sir, and they're not even sticking to the bottom. You know, that butter, that clarified butter, man, it does something. The thing about clarified butter is it's got a higher smoke point. In other words, it don't burn uh, like regular butter does. And then, of course, that bacon grease and everything. But you don't, you don't want to put too much on either one because it'll make your taters soggy. So just be careful about that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready and plate this up and show you what this looks like here. Well, all right, we got some of this plated up now, and uh, what I did, I took and added, I had cooked some bacon earlier to get the bacon grease for the skillet to fry these taters in. And so I had some bacon fried up pretty crisp, and uh, so I crunched some of that up, put on top of these uh, fried taters. Also, I added a little bit of parsley on top of that. And of course, naturally fried taters wouldn't be fried taters without some good old ketchup, right? So anyway, that's what it looks like right there. Fried taters and onions green bell pepper. Let's give this a taste and see what's hot. I mean, it's smoking. Look at that. Woo -wee. Mm -hmm. Let me try that. Mm. Wow. Hey, I know this ain't keto for all my keto friends, but right there will work. Now, I grew up on this kind of stuff here. The only thing would be better with that would be a little bit of pinto beans and ham with it. But anyway, I can eat fried taters any day of the week. So there you have it, folks. There's fried taters cooked in a cast iron skillet. Hey, it's Mike over here with Mr. Cast Iron. If you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button to our channel. And that way you'll be alerted when we get the other videos on there and you can be checking out our other recipes and tips. Have a great day. We'll be talking to you soon.